kind of a strange word because if you stretch far enough, you can make one thing uh, relate to another with enough connections in between. So in that sense, everything's related. So I feel like what we really mean when we say relative is something that is uh, has less links in between. In fact, it has maybe just above the least amount. So what? let's say, let's take a, something simple like a brother and a sister. That's a relative. Everybody knows that's a relative. And why is that a relative? Well, because they came from the same parents. And that truck just about went off the road there. What's going on there, Billy? You need to s settle down. Are your brakes bad? Oh, you swivety swerving all over the place. Now, let's say uh, you got a cousin. Those mothers, 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 grandmothers, great-grandmothers, somewhere way back there in the Adam and Eve days, they're related to. It's just a lot more connections in between them. Something that is closely uh, biologically or otherwise associated. Now we got relate relatives when it comes to uh, family. We got relatives when it comes to subject material. And then we have another kind of relative, like when somebody says it's all relative. We gotta say things like distant relative. Relational databases might be a relational database of relatives. I noticed that if you change the syllables on some of these words, that they really start to sound like those bad medicines they try to sell you late at night. Well, well, it used to be late at night on TV, now they just throw it in between every type of break on any kind of video you're watching. You just take the word relative and you change it to relative. Talk to your doctor to see if relative is right for you. Sounds like a laxative. You're going to be relating in it all over the place. Your stomach turn all up into twisty twisty knots. Uh, you might say, I feel a little relative right now. Imagine all the relatives an ant has. You imagine if that, rel if that ant cared about relatives and uh, had all the birthdays and the parties and all that stuff that we do for relatives. That ant would just be non-stop party. It wouldn't get any work done because it's got a million relatives. That family reunion is happening non-stop. We're gonna get together for a family reunion. There's gonna be Bob, Bob number one through Bob number one million and one, and we're all gonna get together and have a party. But because of, you know why they don't do that? Because by the time they got done saying that sentence, they got another one million relatives. Relative is also used as a sort of comparison word, as in uh, for hot pot, but, uh, it's darker right now, uh, relative to it being lighter earlier. And uh, you'll have to excuse me, I've been stuck in wandering in and out of accents all day. I don't know what sort of uh, what sort of character I'll be right now. You could bloody say someone's taller than someone else by saying he's much taller relative to the other person who is much shorter. That's a good uh, use of the word relative, but maybe not quite as common as just saying that, that bloke's there is taller. We've got brother, we've got sister, we've got grandmother or mum, we've got uh, uh, mom and dad of course, we've got son and daughter, we've got cousins and, and great grandmothers and great grandfathers. <laughs> Just uh, try to be British for a while, it's a, good, it's a good laugh. But what I'm saying is, have some fun with your life. I've had people tell me I should be an actor. And I've, told, I've had people tell me I should be a teacher. And I've had people tell me I should just do one of the trades. So basically what I'm getting at there is that people will tell you all sorts of things. Their opinion's not worthless, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that every person you talk to is going to have something different for you. Walking round all day long, moving this and moving that, and straightening this and straightening that, and doing a lot of this and a lot of that. Lots of this and lots of that and lots of those. And lots of other things as well. I don't know what's going on here. Vegetables. Vegetables. I hate vegetables. I don't like them. I don't want them for dinner. Get those vegetables away from me. I'm a bit bonkers right now, I'm afraid. I've lost me rocker. I've gone to the blitzers. I'm up the elevator without a cable. I've gone over the water wheel and all the cupboards are broken. 
I've eaten the cheese and had the duties. Bonkers right now. I'm, I'm tired. I've lost it, is what I'm trying to say. I'm a sign with no words on it. I'm a blinking arrow that's pointing in all directions. I'm an overpass with no pass to go over. I'm an underpass with no ceiling. I'm a bridge over troubled water. I'm a bridge over troubled water. I'm Walter Conrad. I'm Sean Connery. The cheetah is a wild animal that cares for its young just like any other animal. But sometimes they play Xbox, I assume. So everyone must have a Microsoft account, including the cheetahs. I smell a bloody skunk, I do. Lots of wriggling round and stinking around and making a lot of smelly clouds. I'm Shane Connery, shining off. Shane Connery, shining off. Shane, shh, 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 shh.